about that a bit. And uh, present, future, and how Agile changed and impacted the industry. And uh, before we start, I think uh, you know I can just uh, show and introduce a bit of myself. You can see me. Usually I'm without uh, that or uh, with a bit shorter beard, but you know it's not shaved November. The cancer awareness, so uh, I'm supporting that. I work in PPAM Lithuania or Event Systems uh, as an Agile coach. I have more than 12 years of uh, IT experience, software development experience, and uh, more than seven years of hands-on Agile experience. And I check this nine brains, and I try to read through all of those uh, technologies and methodologies which which uh, people can support. And I could not find anything uh, which would related to mainframe. And I started my career as a mainframe developer, so that's sad. Uh, someone needs to change that. And that means Cobo, uh, Rex, and then many other things, which is really cool. Uh, yes, with me, uh, with my son, uh, I have two sons actually, so when I'm working from home, it's like this. Uh, it's a bit, a bit more distracting, so it's nice to be here, uh, live with you, and, 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 and uh, touch upon this topic. Uh, yeah, and uh, does anyone know? Regarding the, where it started, Agile in general, it's, it will be interactive. So if you will answer your question, it will be really cool. Or answer my question. King, please. Uh, cool. Yes, and uh, it, 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 we now like to say that you know, oh, it's Agile Manifesto, and more just plain simple Agile. But you know, it's uh, Agile Manifesto for software development. It's stated as software development, so that's why we need to deep down into the roots and uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, at least I could find uh, the 1948 uh, in England, person Tom uh, is mentioned as first uh, person who actually compiled and, 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 and created the software development movement in general uh, so it's nice to mention it, it was not, it's, it's a simple uh, program um, called Baby which calculated some mathematical things. Uh, if you would like to hear more, I think you definitely can Google, but I think it's again as we seeing or uh, currently discussing about software development and Agile uh, manifesto for software development, it's nice to mention him in the roots. So when he uh, showed this miracle magic about software development, what we can do, it was uh, at the beginning, uh, as you know, everything at the beginning is uh, a bumpy road, so it was just unproductive. And uh, the movement started, you know, the people started to create things, the business catched, oh, this is something which we can earn money, we need that, uh, it's cool, uh, let's, let's, let's do this. Uh, and, and more people started to, you know, and companies started to uh, look into this, what is this uh, software development. And uh, as it was bumpy, it was unproductive. So people started to do, try, fail, try to look into reasons and uh, as more people and more companies catch on, on this thing we can do software development um, you know they felt that it is a crisis so the people got frustrated like we 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 building we failing what was happening we we need something which would save us and uh, that saving uh, actually appeared uh, and maybe someone could guess what was the saver but what saved, at least helped to improve the software development? Anyone? Uh, Year 2000. Is this one? In 1970, 80, yes, waterfall. So, uh, people proposed waterfall. So the structure, how software development could be, you know, improved, so we have a structure, we can uh, focus on let's say uh, you know something like uh, concept, then uh, let's say uh, design, then maybe development. So this actually helped people to organize the work. So this already was a huge step forward. And when it was introduced, actually it was uh, in the ideas and in in, on the paper it was mentioned that you kind of could go back one step forward uh, that point. So if you uh, did something and you notice that, well, it's not 
as good as you would intend it, it should be able to get back one step backwards. But uh, we all know that in reality, this, this is not happening. So it just uh, costs too much money, costs too much uh, work. Uh, maybe people who actually did the concept or uh, design or left. And then when you transition to one phase to another phase, you're usually losing around 50% of your knowledge just by transferring this, this, this from one side to another. So it's, it, it was better, but uh, it was not as good as it could be. Um, yeah, so, and then after this, uh, all the yeah, smarter people, because we already tried unproductiveness, the house environment, we trying the waterfall, uh, started to find a different ways of working. And uh, that's when actually in the market started to appear those lightweight different frameworks or uh, methods, way of workings. And around uh, 1990, the Scrum first time appeared in, in, in the books, in the uh, just, you know, market. Um, and around 1990, uh, there was even more, like uh, this uh, driven development, which is mentioned there, appeared in the uh, 1990s. Uh, extreme programming uh, in 1996. And uh, this thing, the Kanban, maybe someone can guess when, around -ish. 2000, someone mentioned. So it's 2003. But uh, again, I, I'm now a bit amazed that you mentioned 2000 because I think everyone knows that, oh, it's, it's really old, like Toyota did it uh, firstly, so why it's 2000? Because in IT it's 2003, like first uh, book, but uh, yes, for the, in general, as a lean and, and, and not software development, it was uh, way, way, even before the time it was in, 1940 ish the Yotabai, uh, in the Yotabai, the So it's even older than uh, the, the history of the software development in general. So this is uh, light, lightweight uh, options how to do development faster. You can see a lot of them actually uh, started appearing in the market even before the Agile Manifesto, except this one. Um, and we can, as we mentioned, in the lightweight, we can definitely already mention the uh, scaled ones. Just we mentioned a few of them as in history. So um, let's around uh, 2005, before that, it was uh, Scrum of Scrums in 1996. Uh, can, we can try to make this complicate. Uh, so can, the, can someone try to guess what is this? Nonsense. Looks like Jira. Uh, similar, <laughs> similar. Uh, it's actually same the same. And one more, which is the, I guess, the newest one, which is should be like something like that. Looks like Wi-Fi, but it's different. And <laughs> what? 2012. Yes, it's what it's Wi-Fi. So this is the scaled ones, which uh, well started from the 96 again before the manifesto, and and the more appearing later, uh, just because you know the companies got bigger, the product the project got more complicated, so we needed uh, scale too. Cool. Uh, so we we had the crisis, we had the waterfall, which kind of uh, you know tried to save um, the, the the just in general um, software development. It, it, it didn't, uh, but it tried, and then uh, we had emerging these these different uh, ways of working, like uh, Scrum, uh, development, development uh, extreme programming, and many others. Um, yeah, but. There was still something missing, so, so the, the, the smart people still felt that something actually missing, so we need uh, to have even 
better approach or uh, something which could connect uh, a lot of uh, those programming things with the, just in general the way of think. And in 2000, uh, seven people in Oregon uh, joined uh, together to discuss, okay, so what we can do to actually improve uh, just surrounding and, and how to make development faster. So they joined for a full day, they discussed, they didn't agree on anything specific, uh, but they laid our foundations. So they all did, uh, agreed on some good things which could be, you know, improved with a bit more of collaboration. And uh, not even a year passed and uh, they met again. This time in uh, Utah, ski resort, Snowbird. And they uh, agreed, actually, on what's now, we can call it as a genre manifesto. Um, for software development or just agile, let's say. Uh, can someone now mention what they agreed on? Uh, I hope that my pictures actually would help Four you. Values. What? Four values. Yes. Uh, can you try to guess it from my picture? What are those values? Maybe if someone doesn't remember, uh, just by the you know memory, maybe the pictures will help. Uh, do we have the ones which I'm not afraid of? So I can mention from the uh, top one. So people and in, uh, interaction. Oh, sorry, not this one. This one. Uh, so people and interactions. Over. Yes, you are right. Then what more? Customer collaboration. Over. Definitely. Uh, working software. Yes. And the last one? Respond to change. <laughs> yes. Uh, cool. Uh, usually I, I want to highlight, and, and this is again something which really often happening that people think of, and, and business li likes to say, oh, uh, you know what, you doing agile, so what, we will not have documentations at all? I don't like that, let's not do that. Well, it, it's 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 a bit different. It's uh, it's not uh, on and off button which you clicking one on another. It's actually a slider which could be moved from one side to another side. So you're trying to use the slider as much as you can to the left side, uh, but sometimes happen that you have a slider on the right side. That's, that doesn't mean that you cannot like you use Agile, cannot uh, try to implement Agile. It's actually, if you already know that your slider is in one on another side, you're already in a good shape because you know what you need to maybe fix or focus to make it better. So yes, uh, for values, for principles, we will not go into principles because it will take uh, so much more time and we don't have that much time to, to cover them. Well, we can because I think one speaker uh, didn't join, but I think let's better use that time to watch the movie, which uh, another presenter showed. I love that movie, so uh, let's use the, movie, the time to uh, watch the movie and, and, and communicate and just discuss about those four principles. Um, cool, so now it seems that it's getting better. So we had a software development movement, it was, uh, Unproductive, the house, uh, we have merged new web workings, new method, new frameworks. Uh, bam, Agile came into, in, in, into the market with showing what people need to focus and what to leave a bit behind. And that was already a huge impact for the market. So the more companies started to use this, when they're connecting development uh, practices with this mindset thing, it was such a huge boost that the companies which didn't use those both actually felt uh, behind of them, of them as a competitors. So uh, it was really a huge uh, boost movement. And of course, when something is really catchy, someone trying to copy, or you know, not maybe copy paste as a blindly, but do similar fit. So how many of you uh, heard about modern agile? Yeah. Maybe you can raise a hand. Modern agile. One, One person. We have a tough crowd. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, the person who raised the hand, maybe you can, uh, or you remember the, the principles? 
Unless they're covering it. Actually, it's, it's so simple. It, it, this module actually have only four so principles. It doesn't even have values. It have only four principles. So make people awesome, a heart. Uh, then the focus on the value, of course, as, as we all should do. Uh, make safety as prerequisite. So focus on the safety, safety environment. Of, of course, again, uh, from the Google movement, that we need to uh, focus on, on the uh, safety side of the people. And then, of course, uh, do experiments. Um, simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, it, I, it, I didn't hear much success stories from this, but I think it's, it's, it's really nice to mention that if you didn't hear about this, try to read, try to think why they're doing what they're doing, because again, it's a, a different try to make similar things. So in some areas, it made impact. Um, yeah, can anyone try to guess what I will mention on the right side? Because again, it's a sim similar thing with the modern angel. It's a bit more newer. It, it's it's really not that old. The modern waterfall. No, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually agile too, modern. Uh, I don't even don't know what how to draw them. It, it, it's it's agile too. Uh, you, they're actually uh, really complicated. Um, they have six values and uh, forty three principles. And those 43 principles uh, is connected by 10 uh, topics. So let's see, one principal topic can have multiple principles. So I found it a bit more complicated. They still have really great ideas. So it, it, this, I'm not saying you know, they are bad, they're copying something like that. It's just different things which you can try to read and maybe you use in your environment. Just to, again, uh, extend your vision about uh, the, the general what's happening in the Agile world. Um, yeah, uh, if you didn't hear about that, a lot of uh, information is our on LinkedIn, they're providing, of course, training state and stuff like that, which, uh, yeah. that's why maybe they had the Agile here. Uh, cool, so let's discuss about the changes. Uh, well, I already uh, mentioned a few of the changes uh, which uh, impacted the market, so the Companies which didn't use uh, Agile didn't uh, jump fast enough to this train to, 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 to learn adopt Agile. They fell behind all the competitors, and it's still happening sometimes. Uh, another companies which uh, just try to adopt Agile because of the sense work or we need to become Agile, and they don't know why. Uh, they again fell behind the competitors, which actually knew what they want to solve by implementing Agile and adopting Agile. Uh, that's why even those uh, you know scaled up uh, frameworks which which we I mentioned uh, sometimes it's it's good some of them are uh, not successful and there are a lot of those which companies started to scale up and then they scale down. Um, not uh, that's not uh, focus on that. I can mention uh, about two of the biggest changes maybe which again really interesting uh, at least from my perspective because. Uh, Agile didn't change. So the, from the beginning of, of the manifesto in general, or Agile manifesto didn't change. So we had four values, four principles, and we still have the same. But let's say Scrum actually changed through the years. And uh, maybe someone can again mention from their own experience, uh, maybe following that, how they changed. What, what, what's the biggest, maybe different from the beginning? And their journey till 2020, because 2020 was the last time when uh, uh, Scrum Guide actually changed something. Yeah. And I shoot like this. So it's uh, I tried to do cat. I hope it's uh, similar to cat. So the main thing which I noticed, and they even saying they got simplified. So the Scrum Guide in general, when 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 it's uh, started, it was with the you know. Quite a bunch of text, not talking too long, but they, through the years, they increased. They added some things like uh, uh, where where the Scrum can be used, uh, added many or different layers, so they increased, increased, increased something. They added something. But the last update in 2020 they actually decreased a lot of things. They removed a lot of things which they added even during the previous uh, 
operation. So they remove the estimation, they remove many things which would be connected to IT, uh, which again, it's interesting because it seems that the Scrum Guide in general and Scrum trying to move away off of IT and saying, well, it's a framework which you can use just anywhere. And it's really nice. Uh, there, even in the, in the general um, Scrum Guide uh, page, you can see the, 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 their own uh, article about uh, what was changed and, and the ideas behind that. Really interesting if you didn't read about that try to focus and, and, and just you know, have an hour to be enough to read uh, the changes and, and you will see the idea and the kind of, of what's happening. Another thing, another, or another uh, site what I want to uh, mention and they went for now, they still went in a different way uh, so it's uh, less, so they, they, they started quite simple, you know, they, they, they said that, look it's scale up so you you need few things, you can work in any uh, way of working, like uh, the, the, the Kanban, the Scrum you can choose, and, and so on. Uh, they are mentioning about the roles and, and the responsibilities which require, you know, the budgeting part, and, and, and so on. So, but every update, they added something. They added uh, release streams, they added the value streams, they added the Many, many, many things. So they still, even now, the leader safe update added something. That, so that the bigger, the, the picture which uh, was at the beginning, it even you know increased, and it's still increasing through the years. So they choose, <coughs> but they're still choosing different approaches. So they adding by trying to clarify why they think it's important. So, so from my perspective, they, they they make it more complicated because. I know, the people just don't like a lot uh, of text and, and they're they, they doing this from my personal experience. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just different. It's some areas it works, in some areas it doesn't, but they're still adding and piling up, uh, which I think sometimes even creates uh, more complexity. Um, so this is the change from, I will discuss about the change in the market. This is a change from the uh, way of working, which are under Agile umbrella. There are even change uh, or impact on the developers or the uh, people who work under the Scrum. And uh, you know, I think all of you heard about this this uh, IT pie sheets. So as a developer in the line, I was a uh, mainframe developer. I next did uh, C sharp, but then I went to the mainframe development. I, I, when I joined the, the company, we, we didn't work naturally, so we could choose the way of working which, which we prefer, and we didn't care. I did, I did my job, I left the day, I get back, I did my job again, I added something, removed something, and then whatever. Uh, when we adopted Agile, that changed how I worked, and how, well, what values I actually had to bring, because I don't have to focus or leave I, and focus on the team, because we, we, we were getting away from this, that I'm doing my job, I have my job, we've went to, we have our job, the team have our job. So I need to shift, shift the focus, I need to learn uh, as well to help our BAs, I need to learn many from things from the front end side and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. So the actual impacted even us as a people, developers, uh, we, we, we had to shift our focus. So it, I, it was not enough because it was not a single person as a responsible. If we did something, we did as a team. And then, of course, uh, it's nice to mention even Pi because um, the Agile movement is still moving ahead and there's a, a DevOps which have to learn even more. And this IT Pi could be connected to many different things, but, but from the general, if I is, is I'm looking only in my garden, then team, I'm looking in the team perspective and, 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 and Pi is actually uh, quite hard to achieve because you need to learn uh, way more, but it's uh, again many, many, many dialogues to buy, but it's uh, many different opinions. So, uh, it's good It's good to know that we shifting and this this environment changing so fast that we need to learn more and more things and, 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 and do more than we had to do like before. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is impact for us as, as uh, people users and then uh, a bit of you know what's 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 what can happen in the future, and uh, even 
now when, when, when I join the different conference and when I'm looking at what's happening, I, I think, you know, the Agile will definitely will, will, will not uh, die, as the same as mainframe. People said this 50 years ago that mainframe will die. It's still active, still still working, the same with, with the Agile. Uh, it, it, I, and I believe, and I, it's already seen that Agile finding different markets, different environments away from IT uh, where it can be used. Uh, maybe not the Agile manifesto in general, because it's Agile manifesto for software development, but those uh, frameworks and methods which are un under Agile umbrella, umbrella already starting to move away from IT to the different markets. And this could be clearly see uh, movement like um, Agile HR, uh, even, uh, even today I have uh, talks with person from the hardware and they say, look, we we even noticing that doing in the hardware we, we uh, always focusing on the lean, remove waste, and, and stuff like that. But now we face that we removing by removing uh, waste, but not focusing on the experiments and, and the changes which we can have from those experiments. We actually falling behind behind of the competitors. So even they as a, as a hardware uh, need to focus on both sides, so the lean as to move waste and improve the, the, the cost efficiency, but again with the Agile to make them better uh, about experiments and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, so we definitely will, will catch uh, different markets. I don't think that Agile Manifest in general will change, but the uh, uh, frameworks and methods under Agile umbrella, umbrella will, will emerge and, and success stories in different uh, areas and markets. At the same time, I already uh, noticed, and, and it was uh, quite cool, uh, that they are in, in the market there are tools which help a company uh, adopt their own framework or methods. Because usually what companies do, they copy the success story. Like a lot of, oh Spotify, they are, sounds really cool, we need to use Spotify, and the Spotify saying, look, it's not even working for us, don't copy. No, 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 it, it's cool, you are, you are having a huge market, you are getting a lot of money, we will use the same uh, model. And, and, well, the people or the, the, the companies usually burning with the model, with the Spotify for even the, the model by themselves. But uh, what was cool that there are even the tools which gives you, you know, different uh, things like uh, components, which then enables you to create your own way of working or your own model. You know, so you just move things, drag around, and uh, you can say, look, this is this is the our company success story, we're, we're working by this way and we increase the uh, you know, value and then uh, uh, our budget by, by, by 2,000% or whatever. So there, are, there will emerge new tools which help companies to create their own ways of working and there will definitely emerge the success stories with not what we already have but the, but, but the new uh, scaled or lightweight uh, way of working stuff, that, that, that's what I'm uh, thinking and I'm predicting that will happen in the future. Um, yeah, so this is the, again, the history with the tree with the roots of, uh, of Agile, of my personal experience of what I noticed and, and, and what I predict will happen in the future. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I would be more than glad to answer now. The last thing that you had mentioned, is it about Handfix of your Uh Yeah, yeah. It was cool. They have the, the, the faces and the stuff like that. So the scale. Yeah. And there are more the, the, in the market already, but he uh, was one of them which I saw from the last ones. You haven't mentioned personal agility, which is kind of important yeah. because people are finding a way to be more agile just yes. in their private life <laughs> or whatever uh, and business agility which are happening on the business side it, I, I think I didn't mention a lot of things because again uh, there are more than, than you know just, just these things because there are uh, different layers and, 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 and things like you mentioned earlier business agility and, and many, many other things, but yeah, there are definitely more than that, just this, but this is, uh, again, uh, I hope that I created this curiosity that there's, if you just know about Agile, Agile Manifesto, Agile Manifesto Software Development, that you just, you know, blindly following that, 
there are more things. There are a lot of things. There's some of them copy paste, some of them uh, you know changing, emerging. Uh, <coughs> there's a, a lot of things which is nice to read, nice to see, nice to hear. Are there, um, let's say, criteria for when a certain team should use this or that? Because this tree kind of suggests that we are getting into an evolution mm -hmm. to, to perfection. And, ah, now this is the real thing. But what I have seen um, in practice in, in my work is that certain teams are working on optimizing something that is already there. And then a certain way of working, a certain process is working for them. Another team is, let's say, newly put together. They don't know each other. They have, let's say, a product owner who doesn't know what, what to do. Uh, they have a scrum master who says, oh, I don't know what you want either, but I know the process. Uh, I can kind of guide you as a team to be together, and I can get the product owner to do a scrum-like thing. So you're, you're just having different situations for, for different different teams. So I, I kind of miss that in, in this picture. Uh, and th this is a good observation, because I think I mentioned that you know you should not blindly adopt Agile without thinking what you want to solve. And this is uh, involving even in the teams. What, when you're doing the Agile in the team, you should know why you're doing that and what you want to solve, what you want to improve, what you want to deliver and stuff like that. So the one approach, if you blindly will follow uh, some of the I know, best practice which you read somewhere, it will not work. So when do you know? When do you know what? What is, let's say, the slide saying these criteria, Agile, these criteria do something else? Oh, uh, uh, it's, it, you, you should try and then you will know, actually. Because, because uh, when you're reflecting, when you're seeing the surroundings, it, it, it's, it's, it's no one answer when you know that it doesn't work. It can be many reasons why it doesn't work, or why some people don't want that it would work, and stuff like that. Uh, so it's uh, complicated, and I don't believe that there's a one answer. In Agile Manifesto, if you zoom in, you gave an answer, <laughs> because it's a slider. Yeah. So you, you try on the right, you feel yeah. worse, you go on the left. But, but that's it. That's what I mentioned. Even if you are on the on the right, and that's not the reason why you should think, oh, it's not working for us. That that's not the reason. You should find the actual root cause why it's not working. It's not because you know uh, maybe you have the documentation or something. There should be why you need that. I, I am still worried <laughs> because now you're saying we should find the root cause. We should find why it is not working. And that is at the moment that you have already started. You're doing something and then you say, oh, it's not working. Mm -hmm. And why don't you know in advance? Why don't you know in advance what is the right way to set up the process for a team to develop what they want to? So it's not the point of agility to set up yeah. the uh, automatic process from the first day. It's, it's the way you learn. Yeah. But basically, it allows you actually to just summarize in some, some concrete areas to select the proper framework for you. And, uh, then you just uh, adjust it with, with your special needs. Anyway. Because in general, if you would just follow and adopt the uh, Angle Manifesto, you will not have this way of working. You have a mindset of what you focus on. And then you still will choose, I guess, the uh, you know, method of framework uh, which, which would support that. So those are, again, different things. I have a question. Uh, you happen to know about the scrum of scrums and it, at which point it actually has emerged and what are the alternatives to the nation? So it's what uh, first of mentioned was in 96. Uh, well, it, it's interesting because even people saying that you know large scale scrum is similar and they copied some of the things which are in the scrum of scrums. Uh, but, uh, I know what, what specifically you would like to know about this. Well, because like what are the potential alternatives and uh, what 
just anything, it's, it's, anything yeah. you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the same one, but alternatively it's large strong scale. Uh, it's similar. So uh, mm. well, less is something. It, it's scale up from the perspective, but it's way different. So let's say uh, less is similar to uh, Spotify, like uh, strong strong similar to large strong scale. talking about uh, observations so if you would uh, draw some timeline when the scrum was introduced and till now uh, there were kind of waves of uh, the practice gaining popularity yeah people kind of introduced scrum everyone started to use scrum yeah. fired scrum master then disappointed fired scrum master so then Introduced yeah. same, it's the same cycle again, and it seems like uh, every time it uh, loses popularity, the scrum guys inventing new branch. <laughs> again, again it, 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 it's a way how, to, uh, how even the company sometimes doing. When, when they're losing popularity, they just release something, a copy of themselves, you know, saying, oh, this is the new product, but it's the same. So, you know. But uh, there are those, those, you know, jumps and ups and downs if you're discussing about the methods of frameworks. But in general, if you're looking from the Agile perspective, it's always just in use. So the methods of the, or, or frameworks actually you know, uh, bumping regarding the success stories, regarding what's, what's you know, sharing in the market, but the popularity of uh, Agile manifesto is still in use. But uh, second question, uh, do you have a success story on your own, like a lost scrum? <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, even in the mainframe environment with the huge uh, legacy code. Uh, well, again, the, the, this should be then uh, agreed what is success story. For me, success story when we achieve something which we didn't even knew we can and it was already boosting our productivity, uh, surrounding uh, the other teams around us started to copying us, which was bad because you never do copy based blindly, but that was successful success stories for me. Uh, others can say, in our company we're doing that 10 years ago, like the same, and we even achieved more. So, you know, but uh, yes, when, when we, and I mentioned that, you know, even I had to change my approach and my colleagues started to change, we, we totally shifted that, you know, I don't, we, we started to care about what our colleagues doing, really collaborating, really discussing, really openly. Uh, open uh, those communication feedback loops, which uh, previously speaking mentioned. All of this we implemented, and we noticed that you know, we are good, and even surrounding notices that oh, this team actually doing something, and and they are performing. So what's happening? They they started to talk with us, uh, join you know as a silent listeners and stuff like that. And I think that's a success story. If someone actually already curious what you are doing, maybe we didn't tell that oh, we are so great, we are so cool. We just did what we do. What we thought it, it, it makes sense, what we thought it, it would be you know, greater for us and for the company. But this is again, this is really like, now reflecting, I think it's a success story because people start <coughs> to ask questions okay, what did you do? Where did you start? Uh, just share the things with you, you know, your journey. So it sounds like a success story. <laughs> uh, just to continue these observations. Uh, one thing that I'm missing here is like names of companies which adopted this or that technique. Uh, why am I missing it? This like um, maybe not a quite a correct example, like uh, the cup washing machines. And here in Europe, we are like uh, get used to that they are uh, optimized for uh, electricity usage consumption. And like in Japan, it's anything different. So it's like they optimize water consumption, not electricity. And uh, so what uh, I saw is like we have two dimensions. One dimension is uh, cost of an error. Another dimension is uh, amount of regulations. Uh, and based on where we are, so there are some like uh, maybe optimal solutions, like if we are building an uh, Apple mission, it's like not agile. It's far from it because a lot of regulations and uh, very high cost of uh, of an error. And we are like building something maybe smaller without regulations, 
we are like free to free to do anything we want. Okay? So in this case, I'm back to the first uh, first thing. Like I, I'd like to I'd love to see like company examples and mm -hmm. maybe like a scale of their projects. I have examples which I would not like to mention here with the company is because of the reason, but there are many examples which again, I think even the organization mentioned that there are success stories from even you know, adopting the uh, scale up uh, angels that are uh, not that great uh, stories which you know companies started something, they dropped and stuff like that. But even from this perspective, uh, when we mention maybe the market because of the reason uh, you know there just cannot be angel, it's still possible to uh, some part of this be an angel. As I uh, again mentioned, this, this uh, hardware company, which it's so hard and the cost of error is such a huge, they cannot just, you know, do iteration uh, when you all be trying to add of those components for the mother card, mother card and stuff like that, because they, they have those many layers. But they're still using Agile in some of parts. So the, from perspective of the company, maybe the full company is not Agile, but some of their parts are still using Agile. So yes, uh, I understand the difficulty because, uh, uh, as I said, I think that you see that uh, this um, methodics are not for the company and they are for, for a team. And inside one company there can be different teams and they can uh, adapt to different technologies. Yes, I understand. And I understand that mostly they are on the non-disclosure but if you can't actually success stories from the company and you know the company which which you know maybe specifically I think it, it would be nice just to have this uh, chat after, after the, 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 the discussion of you know, presentation because uh, size to keep success stories unless it's you know Spotify which everyone knows I think that's good <laughs> that there could be one team in the company that uh, could use Agile, there could be many. Is there any like a silver bullet? Uh, how many actually teams you need to start scaling and uh, start using some scale framework? No, it, it, it depends again on, on the need, on uh, are those uh, teams have dependency or they need to collaborate and, 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 and so on and usually when uh, they scale it up appearing like from these so I scale up uh, methods of frameworks uh, the company decides from the top we need to scale as a company and now everyone that's that's do this and then assign roles and, and whatever so what what you saying this usually is bottom up when the team starting to work then our teams look that's cool we like to work similar or oh, look we have Dependency, or we need to collaborate, and that's where emerging from bottom. So some, some, you know, framework, and usually as it works, it's the most popular Scrum. It, it's something which would look like a Scrum of Scrums or or, or the large Scrum scale. Uh, so there's no silver bullet. There's no 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 something which which uh, you know would be as a suggestion. It's just the different approaches. So one is when the company is signing and bam everyone should have to do it another which I more prefer as I mentioned that the teams from their need starting to do start the question uh, starting to reach out to another teams which, which they need to work together and they say look if we work like this let's try we'll be so much efficient and that's where success stories is happening and then maybe they will think about on the department level maybe as a okay as, as a department adopt some of the uh, scale up things and stuff like that so but there's no similar thing. Is there any A-B testing? <coughs> Meaning, we are using this method, method, methodology to get to success. Uh -huh. And another team is saying, no, no, we are doing um, rational unified programming. Mm -hmm. We are doing kind of, uh, let's say, planning, but with a bit of iteration, and uh, we are also trying to get more results. And is there any, let's say, result on well, what is actually doing better according to established uh, metrics? Or is it really a political matter of the management says, you know, we will go this way? Usually it's political. At real occasions there can be reasons uh, why one unit will say or will share that, oh look, 
you need to adopt or change how, how we work or how you work and, and so on. Usually it's political decisions. There can be happen, like, and I even saw that, let's say, uh, there was a, a part of the department uh, which worked in Kanban, uh, and, and another part worked, worked at Scrum, and they had to collaborate, and this different uh, way of working didn't work enough, so one choose to, you know, okay, we will change R to yours. It was not even, you know, how we can evaluate which is better. Let's try this one. We will fail, let, let's try different approach. And they have this flexibility to experiment. Not every company or, uh, you know, surrounding have uh, flexibility to experiment. That's another reason. You know, that, 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 that's why it's usually for it. Which is bad. Let's Thank you everyone. I want to talk.